y'all welcome back to the browse bunch or welcome if you're new here um today i did some walmart grocery pickup and spent less than normal we spent i think it was 92 or 98 dollars something like that after tax and all and there was only two substitutions and they weren't a big deal it's like a different type of chicken and then a different type of cracker which i'm glad they substitute the crackers because the kind that they substitute it with actually sounds better so yay for that this is the day before New Year's Eve that I'm filming this and you guys are gonna see it on New Year's Eve most likely so that I can like be like the last um, grocery haul of the year and so I've got some fun little snacks that we plan to do for New Year's Eve as our supper I guess instead just some appetizer type things snacky food um, and that's what we plan to do and just I probably won't make it till midnight because I rarely do I like my sleep <laughs> what are you guys planning for New Year's and goodness my hair is soaking wet I about forgot what time that I had my uh, grocery pickup and I took a shower like right before I went and just had to run and get it because I was almost out of time like within that time slot so I went with soaking wet hair it's fine it's that weird time between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what to do <sighs> anybody else's house also looking at this like at my house it is an absolute disaster still with the Christmas toys and stuff. Is anybody else is that way or is it just us? I'm sure a lot of y'all already have it put up looking all nice and normal again but we still got our decorations up. Probably won't take those down until like right after New Year's um, and then the toys are just still everywhere. They're still having a blast with it all so good but bad like it keeps them busy during you know the break right so anyway um i will go ahead and get to the groceries no meal plan this week i really hope i can get back into that soon meal planning and actually cooking still taking it day by day though so we'll see but let's go ahead and get into the grocery haul okay here's our table of groceries not too much like i said we were under budget this week and didn't get too much we just i don't know we didn't feel like we needed much got some chicken and biscuit crackers they're really good the kids love them so i got some we don't get those too often um, cause I, mainly just because I forget about them and we eat them probably way too fast. And then some cheese at Grooves. I like to eat those with my cottage cheese that I also got and with cashews. That might be weird, but that's like the combination that I do. Cottage cheese and cashews and cheese. its For New Year's Eve, I got us our sparkling grape juice as usual. We always have fun doing that. And then cereal, we've got golden grams again and then some frosted Cheerios. I've already got some tortillas here at the house, so I'm going to have some guacamole and then I'm also going to make the bean dip because I didn't end up making it we didn't get together for Christmas because of some sickness in the family um at least for eating lies we're not doing that anymore so I've got we've got pimento cheese for days because I made that the day that we found out that we weren't doing it and then I'm making some bean dip also we'll have that for um New Year's Eve and that'll be fun we've got some baked barbecue chips I already said that and then gogurt it was interesting I got the Spongebob strawberry and cotton candy. I'm curious to see if, like, if this is like about to expire or something. It was the only one that on the app that was cheaper than the rest. Like it was on sale for $2.50 and the other Go-Gurts, same size and everything, were still their normal price of like $3.68 or whatever they are normally. And I thought that was odd. It says it's good until February 11th, so I don't know. Pay attention if you want to save a little bit of money, I guess. It paid off that time. These, um, normally I probably wouldn't get them. There's six pack. I know I just feel like you can get more for your money, but they just look good. <laughs> I always like a good fruit snack as well, but the kids really love them. Um, they're the Juicefuls, so they've got the gooey stuff inside, the mixed fruit ones, and then Island Splash. Y'all, doing grocery hauls, being pregnant, it's gonna be a struggle. I get so out of breath, but it will be fine. We'll get through it. <laughs> got some Honeycrisp apples, a loaf of bread, and this, I'm craving my mom's spaghetti bread with pesto, like homemade pesto that she makes. It's so, so good. And I think I craved it when I was um, pregnant with Grant too. But I got some, this is the chair, by the way, if you hear that noise. Got some Italian bread and then just some basil pesto. I haven't ever had this brand before, I don't think. So hopefully it's yummy. And that'll probably be to snack on just whenever or New Year's Eve, not really sure. Um, then some yum yum sauce, ours expired and it was almost gone anyway, so got that. For French onion dip, I thought about just getting a tub of it, um, but this is the kind that I'm really craving and it's funny, we actually had this at our wedding, that's how much I like it, the Lipton onion, French onion dip um, with some chips and I hope I have sour cream in the fridge because I totally forgot about that. This was one of the substitutions I'd ordered 
it was like Purdue chicken tenderloins, I guess, and they substituted it for chicken breasts that are thin sliced, which I usually slice my chicken breasts in half anyway, so that's kind of cool, and it's fine. I just like to get tenderloins every once in a while, but chicken breasts is fine too, obviously. And then another pound of ground beef. Got some green onions, because I plan to make my cheese ball. Um, pretty sure I've got pecans for that and cream cheese already in the fridge. I, try, I was supposed to make sure last night when I was making the grocery haul, but I forgot. So I'm pretty sure I have it. Hopefully I do, but all I needed was green onions to go in that. And then this is the other substitution. I'd ordered flatbread crisps. They were out of the club crackers, the reduced fat club crackers, all kinds of crackers. They were out of, they were out of Ritz, just about any cracker in the aisle, except for the two that I got, chicken and biscuit and then these. And I ordered, I think it said um, sea salt and something. And I'm kind of glad they substituted it for Italian herb because that sounds better. <laughs> so that's what we got. And then we've got some chocolate milk and our regular milk. And then Travis wanted some Dr. Enough's. Let me know if you've ever had Dr. Enough. I know um, it started out, I'm pretty sure it's like a Tennessee thing, right? He's Tennessee. I'm not really sure, but now I'm pretty sure it's in all Cracker Barrels and then they're expanding more possibly. So maybe you've tried it. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that is our grocery haul for the week. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope y'all have a great New Year's Eve, New Year's celebration with whatever you guys are doing. See you in the next video. Bye y'all.